Namaste everyone present here. With the divine presence of His Holiness Jagat Guru Padma Bhushana, Shri Shri Shri, Dr. Balagangadhar Nathan Mahaswamiji and seeking the blessings of Shri Shri Shri, Dr. Nirmala Nandanatha Mahaswamiji, President of Shri Adi Chunchanagiri Shikshana Trust and Shri Shri Dr. Prakash Nath Swamiji, Managing Director of BGS and SJP Group of Institution. I, Samrina Anwar, extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to each and every one present here at Abhyudaya 2024. Our, on behalf of BGS and BS family, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome our chief guest for the day, Mr. Sandeep Pai S., Ms. Shama Ma'am, as uh, our uh, uh, family member, always she is there with us, and our dynamic and incomparable principal, Ms. Malini M. Dutta Ma'am, our ever smiling vice principal, Miss Savita Suwana, and ever supporting parents who play a pivotal role in the implementation and success of every event we conduct at PGS and PS. Welcoming fellow teachers and friends on Cultural Day is a wonderful way to acknowledge their presence and contribution to the event. Welcome all. Abhya Deya a Sanskrit word that conveys the idea of upliftment or prosperity. It represents a celebration of culture and diversity and collective progress. Let us inaugurate the theme of our cultural program, Abhidaya 2024. Our cultural day festivities, I request our principal ma'am to escort our beloved chief guests for Pushparchani. She is also a representative of India to UN and UNESCO, 
a CBS resource person, trainer, mentor, and head examiner. Author with India's highest publication in international relations, Siksha Bhushana awardee, national player, and English news leader. Please join me in extending a warm round of applause as we invite our principal ma'am, Ms. Malini M. Dutta, for the welcome address. Jai Shri Gurudev. We are very sorry that the program started a little late. Still, we are waiting for our chief guest due to the Saturday traffic jam. I think he is held up in the roads. But yes, we will start the program for which our students have worked so hard. So with the divine blessings of His Holiness, Padma Bhujana, Jagat Guru, Sri Sri Sri, Dr. Balagangadhar Nath Mahaswami Ji, and Jagat Guru, His Holiness, Dr. Sri Sri Nirbalanandha Nath Mahaswami Ji, President Adi Chunchunagiri Sikshana Trust, revered our own beloved Dr. Sri Sri Prakash Nath Swami Ji, the Managing Director of SGB and PGS Group of Institutions and Hospitals. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude and welcome to our guest of honor, Shama Man, Principal BGS IRS, my co colleagues, the teachers, the parents, and definitely the heartbeat of this institution, the soul of this institution, are my dear students. And at the same point of time, I would like to extend my heartfelt welcome to Mr. Sandeep Pai, the guest of honor for the day. So we were just talking about you, sir. Dr. Sandeep Pai, an astute academician, an educator, principal, is a man who connects with the school of drama as well. So today, when we are exhibiting this drama saga, we are having Mr. Sandeep Pai with us so that he can always bless and encourage our students in the same platform. I extend to each one and everyone a warm and resplendent welcome to the grand tapestry of creativity and talent that is called our cultural fiesta Abhyudaya. Abhyudaya is always known as the rise. This event stands as the testament to the indefatigable spirit of our school community, where the realms of academia and artistry harmoniously converge, igniting the flames of imagination and fostering the development of well-rounded individuals. Today, we are gathered here amidst the hallowed halls of learning to celebrate the mosaic of culture, talents and aspirations that adorn our institution. As the custodians of knowledge and the cultivators of young minds, we firmly believe in nurturing not only the intellect but also the artistic and the cultural sensibilities that lie within each student of us. Today, in the midst of vibrant colors and enchanting melodies, we embark on a journey of celebration, creativity, and inspiration. Our cultural fiesta serves as a platform to showcase the rich tapestry of cultural diversity and artistic brilliance that defines our school community as well. The Ramayana. Amidst the grandeur of the Ramayana, we delve into the epic saga of Lord Rama, the epitome of virtue, duty, and sacrifice. Through captivating performances and straining narrations, our students transport us to the world of valor, righteousness, and unwavering faith. From the trials and tribulations of Lord Rama's exile to the ultimate triumph of good over the evil, the Ramayana teaches us valuable lessons of perseverance, integrity, and compassion. Let us join together 
in celebrating the timeless legacy of the Ramayana, drawing inspiration from its profound teachings and timeless wisdom. Through the lens of art and culture, we strive to ignite the flames of curiosity, empathy and understanding in the hearts of our students, the budding citizens of a global India tomorrow. For, as William Shakespeare eloquently said, the world is a stage and all the men and the women are the players. Today, our stage is adorned with the colors of mythology, resonating with the timeless tales that continue to inspire generation. So let us immerse ourselves in the magic of this cultural fiesta. Let us celebrate the spirit of creativity and the camaraderie and let us cherish the memories that we are going to create together. And if you can put your ears together and close your eyes, you will hear the million thirds of the hundreds of the students, those who are waiting around, behind and back of the stage. So let's celebrate the Abhyodaya Ramayana for grade 6 and once again I wish all my parents a hearty welcome and a very good afternoon that is going to be there in our memory lanes forever. Jai Shri Gurudev, thank you. Now I request our principal ma'am to honor our chief guest, Mr. Sandeep Pai.
speech not take away the credits. It's so difficult to talk to, you can talk to children, you can talk to parents, but talking to children and parents is not an easy task. I don't know, Marley ma'am was maybe my previous Janma's enemy. She put me <laughs> 
on a very tough road. She is a very good friend of mine on a very serious note. We have very challenges, heterogeneous needs. If you have two children at home, then even more challenging. One wants something and the other one does not want that. And at times, both the children are united for something that they are against the parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> at times, children and parents all get united if it is against the school. <laughs> to convince all the perspectives in the same room. I want to narrate a story, a very small story. Do not get disheartened. I am sure you, my children in the corners can follow me. You all hear me? Hello? You say yes. Oh wow, good. Children there? I'm sure children are seated somewhere there. No? All right. Maybe teachers are there. That's what I'm the Teachers, you all can hear me? Yes, Wonderful. So ENT is at loss. All of us can hear properly. What challenge when we put the annual analysis talking to Marley ma'am, finding out how annual days are formatted formulated and formatted in front of audience. So ma'am was mentioning that we have roughly about 400 odd students only in one wing, one grade. So you have 10 annual days. So I recall my school days. In my school days, we used to have only Kitturani Chanama. I don't know if you all remember. Ili Nintare Kitturani Chanama, Ili Nintare British officer. So it is almost like that. But you can't have in this podium one principle, another podium, another principle. Practically not possible. So I was just asking her how you want to, how you manage. So she said, sir, there is nothing that I have to manage because Parents manage themselves in a very professional manner and I'm very proud about it. So a very big round of applause to all the parents over here. So I see many parents are not clapping over there. They're a little upset because they got the seats there. Nevertheless, don't be jealous. Even you are also one. So let me see. The crowd must be roughly about 300, 400 mark. Or more than that, because we have 400 children. At least one is allowed from a house. At least one. Two are huh? there. At least this must, this must be 800. And look into the sound that I get. Savita Man, I get very less. Oh. Slowly, work was, sorry, lunch was working on you. But I see my balcony friends are little still absent. I want to find out who is more stronger, which is parent community, one who is grounded or one who is already at the top. They have reached the top, haven't they? Hello? So come on, only you all will clap. Good? The numbers are still I feel ground floor is much better. Ground floor, can I listen to only two ground floor parents? <laughs> Better. But can I listen to all three of you together? <laughs> together? I said together? I said together? This is the maximum sound that we have Come on. Make it more. Now with this you say ah. Say ah. Problem. Parents expect from teachers that teachers should do that also, this also, this also, and that also. <laughs> and when parents are asked just to clap and say ah, they're not going ah. <laughs> this is not matching. 
but I want to see that. That can happen. I've seen this earlier. Come on, on a count of three, two, one. Oh, and claps together. After 50 hours of training, our teachers are like this. <laughs> that is the spirit we all have to carry this evening or this afternoon to support our children who are relentlessly practicing along with academics, going to swimming class, attending online class, yet doing the homeworks and yet to scoring plus scoring high marks on culturals as well. Don't they deserve one big O and that please? The minute you encourage your children this particular way, the minute you encourage, children start performing even better, even better and even better. Let me tell you, this is just analogical to our lives as well. It is just that every day we need to encourage the child. Oh, amazing. I know it is challenging to act for a longer period of time. You may lose out on your makeup. It's tough. But I tell you, the same thing was done to you when you were a child. Maybe you just followed whatever was there. Many of them, it was more than two members at home. We, you were five of siblings, or maybe six of you. And at times it started, it, it just began, if you observe here, two to three maximum, at the max, two to three it started coming to. So we all belong to that particular generation when we had one or two siblings at the max and we started getting educated. So, friends, to answer this question which even Google can't answer, what is exact blend of parenting? A. Listen to them. Let that be anything. Listen and advice only when asked for. See, what you should have done is, this is advice. And the child says, Mama, the child might not vocally tell this, but the child will tell it from the heart. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just sharing it with you, assuming that you're my friend. So let us be friends. You, you can ask, do you need any suggestion? The child may say, no. Don't say, that's okay, I'll give one, please take it. <laughs> we are about to do that. Don't we? Please check. You know, we were doing career counseling for my grade 12 the other day. And we tied up with the partners, and the partners were mentioning how to do count, you know, how to fill the answers they were just telling, and that was a homework given because it was an elaborate task. So the counseling was meant for both children and parents. And I warned, I said, see, like the parents now even will take an exit. You give them as a homework task. I'll tell you what is going to happen at home. You don't know how to answer? You go that side. Let me answer. And the father or mother will answer as to what the child will do. But that is not what the career counseling is meant for. The career counseling is meant only for the child to decide what the child wants to do in future. Not what the parents want the child to decide. You want to become doctor in a beta? <laughs> so that era is me and you. We, we all belong to the era where our parents forced us. Because even they believe 
the doctors are highest paid engineers were the next uh, you know, <laughs> profession which earns money so you are not with we were not vidyarthis we were dhanarthis <coughs> finally what we did is we wanted to earn that's the reason why you look for better college better school ah oh, better better everything that and the best the best the best the best why because you need best salary honestly speaking yes so yes so let us not drive our children there no harm in sharing your dreams third point no harm but don't me don't dream i i kept i always dreamt my child to become a bharatanatyam dancer who is also a doctor <laughs> where will the child get no, the child is so pressurized that i have to become doctor also and whenever i get time i have to become bharatanatyam dancer also i know it is a rare combination but this is how we start dreaming and we enforce our children to become something because of that pressure we slowly carry backward now i want doctor so doctor means what i want this best blah 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 that means okay because of which i want top most performance full marks you want 100 or 100 all six subjects still not happy parent why sports b grade you have given <laughs> and you know what parent says parent says i know my child is good but i can't tell it in front of my child if i tell in front of my child my child will develop poor <laughs> Don't you use these words? Come on. No, not all. So, friends, let us listen. Advice when asked for. Share your dreams and ask them to share theirs. If both of them are not matching, find out what is the common point that we can come. If not, that is still okay. We cannot be perfect. Not possible. I left my school early this afternoon, and then I realized, "Are I didn't calculate Saturday traffic? Saturday afternoons are pathetically, horribly, idiotically stupid. Both completely the roads are full. But I don't blame any of my fellow travelers. I blame myself. Maybe I have to. I have to leave half an hour more." Half an hour earlier, sorry, and then we we'll reach over here. So, friends, it is extremely easy for us to blame. What happened? School did not do anything. Easy for us to blame. Class teacher is good, but the subject teacher, especially Hindi, then one must say, no, Hindi, no, no, no not Hindi. Must be Canada. Yeah, yeah. Hindi and Canada may be both. So, what is it you are trying to do? In conversation, you are just showing your unhappiness. But let me tell you, that is not how children perceive. Talk to them. Don't tell them what did the teacher do. Did you understand? These are the questions. What did we do? Where do you need help? You know what I did? I went late to BJS LPS today. I was late by 17 minutes. And then you know what happened? So and so program happened, and then I finished. And then finally I was late to one more event. I have one more event after this. That's different. But when I tell, and then I ask my child. Can you please tell me where I am wrong? Where in all I was wrong? Oh, child, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Fine, I listen. One part of the story is over. Now I am asking my child, can you please opine what in all happened 
through the day and where do you think you need my help do it on day one you won't get anything do it day two nothing day three four five first month over second month over look into the changes when you do it continuously at a particular time and after continuous when you sustain this program at home peace prevails everywhere because child will slowly start telling you the truth because the child knows my parents won't react for anything they are there to help me and they start telling you the truth and then you get to get to know and then you start helping and over a period of time there's a healthy home atmosphere a school cannot be called as a school anymore a school is a university now they learn so many things not academically alone also activities and after activities about social behaviors the do's and don'ts of presenting something presenting about yourself greeting people meeting people eating etiquettes what not it teaches you more than a university so a school can truly become university only when a small load is also shared by a parent it's easy for a teacher to snub and say sorry it's a parent's task we can't do this it's very easy for a parent to also say ah, this was supposed to be taught by school whether school taught or parents taught or maybe student learned but look at we all and look at our school days we all come from different schools most of the times our parents did not blame our schools irrespective of the facilities given now when after giving all these facilities of course mom was very happy but still i strongly recommend you still can do better because that is what we pushed our children to that you can do better do better aim at better give them a pat and say that you did a great job and i'm very happy give them a hug and then say express that we love you every single day irrespective of the marks irrespective of the dance steps that you forgot on the stage or maybe you sang some other song that is still okay you are still the same rama krishna or xyz to us friends let's welcome abhyudaya in sanskrit abhi means in your presence udaya means raising so when the child is raising in your presence what more we can expect i want to conclude my words with you all by telling these important 10 things if you can make all of your learn this and make your children learn about these 10 things one letter i i am great i did it i paid the fees i i i throw it two letters v we did this we we built this we became successful we all completed this let us do the third page for for exercise then teachers also telling children do fourth page second exercise third mind let me see who is going to do fast instead let's let's do fourth mind third exercise shall we all start let's the spirit so use two letters v more three letters ego can be kept at distance four letter love automatically follows five letters smile wear it every day every time 
six letter rumor avoid it seven letter success will follow you then eight letter right attitude very carry it pass it nine letter knowledge have it enormously ten letter confidence keep it with you in your purse in your mind in your pocket everywhere i we ego love smile rumor success attitude knowledge confidence what more you need in life that completes life. i know you did not like this or else you would have said oh and clap but i was <laughs> on a lighter note ma'am said i'm from theater and i use that more i want you to support your children with oh and clap so let's all practice it for the last time on a count of 3 2 1 go give this we respect you of your neighbors children your relatives children and your children give it to all because they need love thank you all thank you devotion and heroism get ready to be spellbound by the epic that has captivated hearts for centuries without further ado let's dim the lights and dive into the mystical world of the ramayana
On the banks of the river Sarai stood the mighty kingdom of Kosala, with its picturesque landscape of beautiful buildings, palaces, gardens and streams. The kingdom of Kosala was founded by the Surya dynasty. Ayodhya, the capital of Kosala, was built by King Ichavahu, the first son of King Manu of the Surya dynasty. After the death of King Rahu of the same dynasty, King Dasharatha ascended the throne of Kosala. Dasharatha was an able, intelligent and a tactful ruler.
of Set as he was childless. One day, when King Dasharatha was seated with his queens, Kausalya, Kaikeyi and Sumitra, the great sage Vashishta gave him a piece of advice. Oh King Dasharatha, please invite the great sage Rishisringa and perform Putra Kamishtiyana. You will soon be blessed with a child. of the sage, the Yaga was performed by the king under the supervision of Rishisringa. Suddenly, from the sacred fire, the guardian angel appears. O oh, kind, your prayers have been accepted. Ask your wives to drink the porridge from the golden bowl. Kausalya, this is a gift from God. You drink half of this porridge and give the rest to Kekai and Sumitra. As the months passed by, the palace was overjoyed by the birth of the children and their beautiful cries. Kaiki gave birth to Bharata and Sumitra gave birth to twins Lakshmana and Shatrudna, while Kausalya gave birth to Rama.
After the seven years, all the four princesses followed the tradition of learning the Vedas at Gurukula. Vishwamitra has come to our palace. Please welcome him with respect. Welcome, O great sage. Ayodhya is blessed to have you here. I am here as a servant to fulfill your orders without any hesitations. Dasharatha. I am sure that you will keep the traditions of the Raghu dynasty. O oh, sage, please give me the orders without any hesitation. The demons are abstracting from performing the yagnas conducted for the peace of this whole world. They are defecating the holy fire with bones and flesh of animals. I need the help of Rama, your son, to destroy the demons. But Rama is too young. I don't think he is capable of killing demons as he has no military training or war experience. I will come with my entire army and fight the demons instead of him. Please, spare Rama. Stop complaining, Dasharatha. I asked only for Rama, but you have failed to keep up your word. I have never broken a promise, but now I have come to realize that truth will no longer prevail in Ayodhya. Please wait, Vishwamitra. Such a folly will never happen in Dasharatha's rule. Please wait, dear Majesty. I know Rama is a brave warrior and he can kill any enemy moreover. Vishwamitra is a learned sage, so you may send Rama along with him without any fear. He will take care of Rama very well. Thus, you can keep your word and send Rama at once. Only then, the world will know who he is. Great sage, I will send Rama with you. Thank you, Dasharatha. I am pleased with your decision. But, but what? Don't hesitate. You can ask me anything. My son Rava has never been alone without Lakshmana. So please, take both of them along with you. Oh, 
Janaka has invited me. You may accompany me to Mithila. That way, you will come to know about the big bow, the Shiv Danush, which Janaka has. Both Rama and Lakshmana leave for Mithila along with Vishwamitra. The next day, on the way, they came across the ashrama of Sage Gautama. It was deserted and there was only the petrified form of Ahalya the wife of sage Gautama to be found there. Sage Vishwamitra narrated the story of Gautama and Ahalya to them. Ahalya had been cursed by her husband to turn into stone after he discovered her cheating on him with Lord Indra who had taken the exact form of her husband Gautama Rishi. He then asked Rama to touch the stone figure with his foot. Thank you, Rama. By the grace of your lotus feet, the curse is broken. So a lady has been living in the form of a stone all these days? Yes, Rama. Because of the trick by deceitful Indra, my husband cursed me to turn into a stone. But today, with your grace, my curse is gone. King Dasharatha of Ayodhya. King Janaka had announced that whoever breaks the big bow, Shiv Danush, will win the hand of Sita, his daughter. Oh, 
Oh Lord, forgive me for my ignorance. I am convinced that you are none other than Lord Vishnu himself. A voice announces that the daughters of Janaka and the daughters of his brother Kushatvaja are to be married to Dashratha's four sons, that is Sita to Rama, Urvila to Lakshmana, Mandovi to Bharata, and Sharada Kriti to Shatrugna.
Glenn Jones, qui Dashrata San Francisco. I have been considering this kingdom and its people as my eyes, and I have been ruling it for so many years. Now that I am growing old, I have decided to hand the kingdom over to my son, Rama. Yes, yes, it is the right decision. Rama is the right choice. Please go ahead, Your Majesty. While Kaiki was removing her jewels, Mantara entered. Mantara, I am very glad that my son Rama is going to be the king. I feel like giving you a gift. <laughs> you fool! Your son Bharata is not going to be the king. It is going to be Rama. Rama is also my son. He has always treated me like his mother. Kaikeyi, your thinking is clouded by your love for Rama. Why has only Rama been crowned? Why not your son Bharata? If Rama becomes the king, he might kill your son. Enough, Mantara. I know Rama too well. If Rama becomes the king, Kausalya will be the queen mother and you will end up just serving her. What you say seems logical. Kaikehi, please understand that only your child, the child you gave birth to, would be your rightful heir. Anyways, King Dasharatha has already decided to crown Rama. People have also accepted his decision. Tomorrow is the coronation ceremony. Now it is too late. <laughs> Kaikini, have you forgotten the two promises granted to you by King Dasharatha? Yes, that's true. This is the right time to remind him of it. <laughs> Long live the king. Queen Kaikei wants to meet you. Kaikei, why are you in a state of a disarray? Tomorrow is Rama's crowning ceremony. What happened? Why are you like this? Do you remember that a few years back, you were hurt while battling an enemy and I saved your life by being your charioteer? That was the time you promised me votes for my good deed. I would like them to be granted now. Is that all? Well, go ahead with your requests. It's getting late for Rama's coronation ceremony. One. My son Bharata should be crowned as the king instead of Rama. 2. Rama should be exiled to the forest for 14 years. Kaikai, instead you should have killed me years ago rather than saving my life. Oh Rama, I have erred. While you should have been the king, I am sending you to the forest. I have committed the greatest of blunders and unfortunately a man like me should not be alive anymore. Oh God, please take my life away. Oh God, please take my life away. Rama, who should have been the crown king, prepares to leave royal pleasures and proceeds to the hardships of the forest. Lakshmana and Sita get ready to accompany Rama. Instead of joyous, ceremonious, 
The streets of Ayodhya were filled with sorrow, seeing Rama leave, and they all followed Rama. Sumantra, we are leaving. When people who love and respect you so much wake up and inquire about you, what do I tell them? The people have to continue to live in Ayodhya out of love for me. They have come along with me until this place. They must be tired and sleepy. Do not wake them up with the hope that you will take good care of my parents. I take your leave. Guhan, the boatman, takes Rama, Lakshmana and Sita across the river. Ayodhya, my motherland, you nurtured me. Now, I am leaving you. Bharata, good to see you back. Ayodhya's throne is awaiting you. Though your father's death is saddening, the thought that you are going to be the king gives me immense pleasure. Mother, your dream will never come true. I am ashamed to have you as my mother. You have not only exiled Rama to the forest, who loved you as his mother, but also killed my father by doing so. Even the demons would not indulge in such a mean act. I cannot imagine how you, being a human, could do this. Beloved brother Rama, I have been the cause of the sin committed by my mother. Please forgive me. Brother, these two are the root causes for all the conspiracy. We will get rid of the sins only if we take the life of these two. Bharata, please forgive me. Shatrugna, even looking at these people is like betraying Rama. Leave them alone. I will never take the throne that was meant for my beloved brother Rama. Do not be afraid, Rama. I am your father's best friend. I am immensely pleased to meet you all. Look over there. That place is called Panchavati. You may build your hut and stay there. I hear the sound of horses and warriors approaching us. Surely it must be Bharata coming here to destroy your peace. Allow me to kill them with my arrows. Lakshmana, do not lose your temper. Bharata is our brother. Be patient. Everything will be fine. Brother Rama! My dear Bharata, have you brought any news from Ayodhya? How is our father? Our father took his last breath calling your name out. He passed away when I was at my grandparents' place. My dear father. Brother, please leave immediately to Ayodhya. You are the rightful heir to the throne. No, Bharata, no. Why, brother? Is it righteous for a young brother to ascend the throne while the elder is still alive? Bharata, I understand what you mean. But it is only righteous to fulfill our father's promise to my mother Kaikai. Okay, I shall rule Ayodhya for 14 years during your exile. Only if you spare me your Padukas, which I shall keep on the throne and offer prayers daily.
faces Rama's Padukas and leaves chanting Rama's prayers. Rama, 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 Rama. What a handsome man! I must entice him and get married. I am Shubhanakha, sister of Ravana, who is the king of Lanka. Karan and Bhushan, the incomparable kings of Janasthanam, are my brothers. I am Rama, the eldest son of King Dashratha of Ayodhya. I have come here to stay in the forest for 14 years. Your name is as beautiful as your looks. Will you marry me? That is my brother Lakshmana, standing over the roof of the hut. He is handsome too. Why don't you marry him? He is handsome, no doubt. Will you marry me? Rama is the prince. I have come here only to serve him. You may therefore marry him and not me. Oh, that's impossible. Aren't I beautiful? Indeed, you are beautiful. But I am already married. Meet my wife, Sita. You are refusing to marry me because you think that your wife is more beautiful than I am. I will kill her now. Let me see how you will leave this place without marrying me.
little brother. Those human fools have cut my nose off. We should let them know who we are. Ravana, be patient. They are none other than the princess of Ayodhya, Rama and Lakshmana. We must act with patience. The warriors Kara and Dushana siege Rama, Lakshmana and Sita. Rama asks Lakshmana to take care of Sita while he engages himself in fighting the warriors. Not able to withstand the powerful arrows of Rama, they fall dead in no time. Hearing the news, Ravana is enraged. He meets his friend Maricha and narrates everything. Maricha, in turn, enlightened Ravana about Rama's strength and divine powers. Ravana changes his mind and returns. My dear brother, Ravana, you are talking about Rama's virtues while I stand here with my nose cut off. Let me suggest a plan. Lure Sita, Rama's beautiful wife, and seek revenge. This will enable me to marry Rama. Ravana meets his friend Maricha once again and appraises him of this plan. Maricha refuses to help Ravana, saying that he is a friend of Rama. Ravana, on hearing this, threatens to kill Maricha. Maricha says that he would rather die at Rama's hands than at Ravana's. A sannyasi arrived at Rama's hut. Cannot 
accept the food if you sell it from inside that line. I cannot come out, Guru. Please accept the food. I don't want your food. You are insulting me. Finally, Sita decided to step out of the line. At that moment, eagles began flying overhead. And the Sanyasi took the form of Ravana. Ravana 
has cut off my wings. He has proceeded eastwards with Sita. Please save her immediately. Jatayu, who is this Ravana? Ravana is Vishrama's son, the, the king of the, the demons. Jatayu, I bow in respect for this sacrifice and pray that you may reach heaven and be with my father. information. He is residing on Mount Rushimuka and will help you find Sita.
people seem to be new to this place. I am Hanuman, the leader of the army of monkeys, and I am the minister in King Sugriva's council of ministers. We are pleasantly surprised to meet you, Hanuman. We are on our way to meet Sugriva. Please come with me. I shall take you to our king. Your Majesty, Rama and Lakshmana, the princes of Ayodhya, have come to meet you. I am honored to meet the Charata's sons. I also happen to know the reason for your visit. But I am right now in a fix and I need you to save me. I want my wife Sita and I will do anything for her. Rama, my brother Wali is troubling and trying to chase me away from Kishkinda. I am unable to fight him. I hope you will get me back my territory of Kishkinda. Sure, I will help you. Your clans told me that they witnessed the Ravana abducting Sita passing this way. Please, help me retrieve my wife from the clutches of Ravana. Sukriva by killing Vali from behind the tree in the ensuing battle between Sukriva and Vali. Later, Sukriva ordered his army to search for sea. such a big ocean to retrieve Sita seems like an impossible task. It can be done only by flying over it. But who is the right person to do this? Hanuman, son of Wind God, you are the right person to undertake this task. You do not know your powers and strength. Let me remind you, when you were a child, you mistook the rising sun for an apple and you flew to the sun to catch it. Come on. You are the only person who can do this using your powers and strength. You're right. You're right, Jajavan. My feet will help me fly to Lanka.
Rama, 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 Rama. Hey monkey, why are you chanting my husband's name in this forest full of demons? I am Hanuman. Rama has camped outside Lanka with thousands of monkeys to save you. I have been sent by him to find you. Here, here is your husband's ring. Please trust me and access it. What? My husband has already come to save me? Oh mother, please, please get on my back. Let's go and meet Rama. I'm sorry, I cannot accept this offer. There are thousands of slaves here along with me who are being tortured. I have faith that my husband will come and save me along with all the other slaves. Do not worry, Rama's arrow will pierce Ravana's heart and Lakshmana's courage will destroy the confidence of the demons. Haruman, please take my ring and hand it over to my lord. I shall do it, mother. But before that, I would like to show a sample of my strength to the demons. I'll be able to meet Ravana. Who the hell are you? I am Hanuman, King Sugriva's minister. I have come here to give the death warrant for abducting Lord Rama's wife. <laughs> You are just an ordinary monkey and you say that you have brought my death warrant. Hey demons, set fire to this monkey's tail and take him along as a procession to the streets of Lanka for the children to enjoy the scene. After beating Sita, oh Lord, Mother Sita has been held captive by the cruel Ravana. Please, please accept the signature ring given by Mother Sita. Mistake by abducting Sita. Her grief will destroy Lanka. Shut up! You are a coward! You have forgotten that you are my brother. Rama is like a young boy. He and his army will be easily destroyed by the demons. Lord Rama, Ravana's brother Vibhishana has come to see you. Oh Rama, I am Ravana's younger brother Vibhishana. I advised him to set Sita free, but he refused. It is better to help a good man like you rather than being with him and fighting against him. Thank you Vibhishana, thank you. With so many good people around me, I have immense faith that I will succeed in retrieving Sita soon. But reaching Lanka from here seems to be a problem.
and save your life and the kingdom. This is the most opportunate moment for it. Hey foolish monkey, shut up. You are forgetting that I have been blessed with a boon by Lord Shiva of Mount Kailasha to rule over demons as per my will. Have you forgotten that? Hey, catch this monkey! Your ego and pride will end only in a war with Rama. I take leave of you.
Hanuman, please wait. This is my turn. I will fight against Kumbhakarna and defeat him. Dear father, I am waiting for your nod to bring Rama's head with one swish of my sword. Indraji, I will take your life away if you don't return my wife back. What? You mean to say that you're going to kill me? I am going to kill your wife. Oh, Sita. No, Sita. 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 Oh, Sita. Indrajit shoots an arrow to Lakshmana as well. Lakshmana, please open your eyes. My wife was slain in front of me. And now my brother? Sanjeevini herb from Mahodaya mountain near Himalaya will cure Lakshmana. Hanuman, you must leave at once to fetch the herb. Yes, my lord. Oh, the whole mountain is full of herbs. Uh, which is the correct one? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's carry the whole mountain. Your wife Sita is very much alive. What? You mean Sita is still alive? I don't understand. Indrajit is disturbed with magical powers and he has played a trick on you. Indrajit again comes back to fight with Rama with magical powers and finally Rama defeats him shooting an arrow. This information reaches Ravana.
worked tirelessly, those who have worked behind this entire show. Now I would like to request all the teachers and the coordinator of grade 6 to be there on the stage so that we can have a huge round of applause for the teachers.
Wonderful. Always we used to start with Jai Shri Gurudev. But today I am going to start with Jai Shri Ram. Yes. Now it is the acknowledged students of 23, 22, 23 who have come to school without any one day leave. So I kindly request Principal Ma'am. C.G. Akshita Ganesh of class 5B. Next, Y. Tichita of class 5B. Aditi Mohabatra of class 5C. Chaitanya K. of class 5C. Sarathi N. of class 5F. Charmi Jashmi of class 5G. Nandisha Lefri of class 5G. Rusha Nadigal of class 5G, Yuvita R of class 5G, Punya N of class 5H, Arya B. Pakade of 5I, Bhuvaneshwari of class 5I, KV Raja Somaya of class 5I, and Nityashri of class 5I. Mahayi event requires an 
unbridled stream of blessings and beneficence from all stakeholders. We all are indeed fortunate enough to have you all on the special day as we firmly believe the school progress, its growth and its glory directly related to our concern and your blessings. Thank you all once again. Now let's all rise for national.